Number 283, I won't date you. Quit giving me these freaking heart attacks. <sighs> oh, look at the cute and harmless little owl at my window. I'm sure you preferred bursting in dramatically with a crash of lightning and a burst of glitter, didn't you? Throwing snakes and gloating? Well, tough. You can't be expecting me to apologize for beating you. Oh yeah, you can look all pitiful and bedraggled now, but that's not going to make me forget all the crap you put me through. You set the cleaners on me! And Humongous and the entire goblin army and... and... <sighs> yeah, well, don't get too comfy. This is just until you dry off, okay? Seriously, Jareth, you do know Halloween is over, right? Pardon? Also, what is with the evil Empress crazy cleavage? Although, I will say, this is a refreshing change from that damn poofy white dress that you keep causing to reappear in my closet. Jareth! Excuse me one moment, Sarah. <sighs> Oi! Mr. Big Red, oh no, my horns aren't blatantly compensating for anything so-called Prince of Sodding Darkness! What the hell do you think you're doing giving out gifts to my Sarah? Sarah? What's going on? Oh. That's... glittery. I'm the glam fantasy villain with the Dreams and Temptations Act going on in this building. Right? Me. Glitter. I hate glitter. So piss off and find your own maiden to seduce. Mm. Oh, is that that freaky devil guy again? Or else what? You'll dance with me? Ooh, I like him. Good voice, too. Very stuff of dark dreams. You're no match for me, Blondie. Dreams are my specialty. Also, I have far better taste in dresses than you do. Watch it, mate. I'll shine a torch at you. I was fifteen. I made one stupid wish. Creepy mirror-stalking perv. If he's still around, I'm going to put my mirror away in the attic. What? Aw, no. I mean, uh, he came through the mirror? How disturbing. Eric, you have stopped doing that, right? Mm -hmm.